Arnold Schwarzenegger and director John McTiernan present Columbia Pictures' new action-adventure fantasy, Last Action Hero. It's a bomb! He's okay. Minor wound. Both cops dead. It's the story of Danny Madigan, Jack Slater's littlest, biggest fan, who with the power of a magic ticket... It's a passport to another world. gets blasted up onto the screen for the ultimate adventure with his favorite movie hero. Holy cow, I'm in the movie. Who the hell are you? Don't shoot me. I'm Danny Madigan, I'm a kid. I was then stuck with this kid, with this 12-year-old kid. And he becomes then part of the, my entire adventure. Ah! You're gonna play chicken, aren't you? Just like Jack Slade. You really believe that you're inside a movie, don't you? Yes! The bad guys are in there. I've seen it on screen. Could I speak to the drug dealer of the house, please? Have a nice day. The important thing in Last Action here is to, to really show the two worlds. Oh, Jack! Did you see that? The Jack Slater character does not know that he's an actor. For him, because we're inside the movie, this is his life. Because this is a movie! You're very clever. And the only reason why I'm not roaring with laughter is because someone killed my favorite second cousin. That's a big, big mistake. That is what you were gonna say, right? Gee, how would I know that? No one likes a smart ass. But the Danny then tells him, you don't understand, you're an actor. And some schlemiel in Hollywood is writing your stuff. Okay, okay, just make sure they're dead. Give me a break, they're dead. Just check, will you? Look, dead. They always look dead, like a diehard. The guy's hanging there by his neck, and at the end of the movie, he comes back. But battling the bad guys on screen is only half the story. Because of the nature of this film, characters that perhaps start out as being two-dimensional reveal all their other dimensions as the story goes on. The ticket gets activated again, and all of a sudden, the villain's that walking out of the, uh, out of the, the screen. That's my world! He's gone over to my world! In this world, the bad guys can win! The door must still be open! Come on! But if I go, how do I get back? You can't go through life nitpicking every little thing. Now come on! Okay, fine. It's great to go into the jungle and see the big monkey now, but the story starts when the big monkey goes to New York. What the hell with it? in New York. All of a sudden, when they use the same methods of stunts. Ow! Of shooting. Here's another explosion for your movie, kid. Not a word. Not one word. All of a sudden, things don't work the same way because we're in the real world. While this movie, in some sense, parodies action heroes, it also has a lot to say about the value of being a hero because there aren't that many people that kids can look up to today. And whether it's Arnold himself in real life or the characters he therefore plays, they do have a big influence. It always helps him to go see his action hero because it makes him feel like there he is, that's the guy who I want to be like when I grow up. John McTiernan, a premier action director in his own right, couldn't wait to lampoon tired conventions of the genre. There were a number of films in a row that behaved as if all you had to do was have a certain number of explosions, enough muzzle flashes, and you had a hit. Once you try to paint by the numbers, somebody's going to make fun of you. And who better to make fun of the action genre than the king of action himself? No, it isn't possible. What's not possible? He's fantastic. This is his best performance ever. Oh no! It is obvious that when you do a movie that is called The Last Action Hero, that I'm not gonna walk through the movie and not do any uh, stunts. Arnold, you can use this as documentation that you've done all of your own stunts forever. I 
hate when it happens. We have last action hero and, and Jurassic Park. <laughs> all in one picture. Yeah. This Chris is King. why this is going to be the you big splash and smash. It's a challenge. And he loves them. I think those are the days that he has more fun than anything else. Than any other days. I think that Last Action Hero is one of the best scripts that I've ever read. It had a lot of comedy in it, it was bigger than life, it had two worlds in it, the world of reality and the world of an action hero inside the movie. This hero stuff has its limits.